Welcome to Wargore TV, an episode 75. Ooh. I'm your host Adam, and tonight we're joined by the wonderful Ben. Hello everyone. And we're going to be bringing you a game of Age of Sigmar 2000 points from the General's Handbook 2023 through to 2024. But we cannot go any further without saying a huge thank you to all our patrons and our sponsors that you'll have seen on the way in on the introduction. Thank you very much. With a special mention to a Mr. Jack Maiden, who has fought his way from the local militia and climbed his way all the way into our warrior standard. So, thank you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. And on with the show. Mm. Now, what awesomeness have you brought to play against me this evening? Boom! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Would I've be... got some ghosts. <laughs> oh, shocker. Yeah, that's it. But no ordinary ghosts. No. There's like a big ghost, isn't there? Uh, some yeah, would say godlike. Of. Yeah. Yeah. The big nigger. Nash is here. He's here. Oh. And he's oh. not a happy bunny. <laughs> oh, he's not. Nope. What's up, saying? <sighs> so much. The other godlike person on the other side of the table has a ghost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should mention that. So. <laughs> Thanks very much to one of our other patrons, mm -hmm. Max Sewell. He has lent us his, um, shall we say, practice Archeon. Yeah. And uh, when you see the practice Archeon, practice. trust me, the uh, it'll be worthwhile when you get to see the real Archeon yeah. when, when he plays it on the show. But uh, the practice Archeon has been lent to us so that, of course, him and his many Varangard can ride out and drop Nagash. No. Okay. Well, no. apparently not. Well, there is only one way we're going to find out. But before we go into that, we have to find out what scenario we're going to be playing. Yes. Now, some say that even Gotrek thinks he could outdrink him. Mm. All we know is he's called the cleric. Mm. No. The frigid Zephyr. As you clash in battle, you must contend with the freezing squalls belched straight from Andor's frigid lungs. This continent is hostile, and those who fail to adapt will perish. At the start of the battle, the battlefield is affected by a squall until the school dissipates, units more than 12 inches apart are not visible to each other. In addition, until the school dissipates, models cannot fly. At the start of each battle round after the first, after determining which player will take the first turn, if the squall has not been dissipated, the player taking the second turn rolls a dice and adds the number of the current battle round to the score. On a 7 plus, the squall dissipates. You score in this mission as such. Score one point if you hold one objective. Another if you control two. A third if you control more. Two points for your battle tactic you picked earlier. This is the Nighthorn list for today. Uh, we are in the Scarlet Doom sub-faction, making the Boy Guys Terror uh, battle line. <laughs> um, General is the Guardian of Souls. His spell is going to be Seal of Shaiish, so trying to get 5 up ward save onto some units. His artifact of power is the Midnight Tome, so he'll be able to auto cast an endless spell. His command trait is Ruler of the Spirit Host, so on a far up we can bring back a battle line unit, hopefully. And then we've got the big bad Nagash doing all his wonderful, wonderful things. His selected spell is Life Stealer, but he knows all the ones from the Death, uh, from the Night Haunt one. And then we've also got a Cruelgast Cruciator. He's here for the extra minus one damage, big bubble aura. That's his main job for today. 
And then as you can see in the back there, we've got the purple sun, because we like extra rend. And the Guardian of Souls will be able to auto-cast it with the Midnight Tomb. Then Battle Line, we have two units, both reinforced of Blade Geist Revenants. Now, because we're in Scarlet Doom, we're doing impact hits on the charge. So that's why you want your big units for that. And then, just to round out the list, we have one unit of Chain Rasps. Just a unit of ten. Grand strategy for today. Spellcasting Savant. Try and keep the Guardian of Souls alive. And Triumph is inspired. Welcome to the Slaves to Darkness and the Knights of the Empty Throne. Let's start with the man himself, Archaon. What more can be said about him? He's riding his mighty beast. He's going to slay everything he can get his hands on. And hopefully, maybe, just maybe, put a Nagash in his sword. Leading him, well, or so he thinks, is a Chaos Lord, Sorcerer Lord, just in front of him there. With a mark of, shall we say, undecided, undivided. So his command trait is Arch Sorcerer, and he wields a Chaos Familiar. He's packed the spell Merciless Blizzard. Now the battle line. There might not be many, but they are strong. Here we have the first, which is a reinforced unit of Varangard, with fell spears and the mark of corn. We have another unit of Varangard, only three this time, but mark of corn, and with fell spears. And to round out the army, we have a unit of Chaos Knights. Five only in number, but they'll make up for that. They are also mark of corn. They have the Cursed Lances and the Enscrolled Banner. And we have 2,000 points on the nose in a one-drop Battle Regiment Battalion. Nighthorn, turn one, because Adam very kindly let me go first. Um, yeah, uh, let's start with battle tactic. We went for magical dominance. I deployed just 30 inches away from Adam's wizards, um, just in case he did let me go first. Um, we also rolled primal dice. Adam didn't get one, but I did, so we have one each. My heroic action. We went for a command point on my Cruel Gas Cruciator, which I got. And I went for one on Archie and didn't get it. Yeah. We then decided, okay, let's cast some spells. We used the Midnight Tome, Artifact of Power, from my Guardian of Souls back here. He threw out the Purple Sun, and that's moved up at the end of my hero phase. We, with Nagash, cast Mystic Shield onto himself. And he also cast the Seal of Shaiish onto this front unit of Blade Geist to give them a 5 up ward. Um, 
didn't really want to cast any more spells with him simply because I didn't really need to I got my battle tactic and I'm not trying to push too far forward just yet um, but by doing that I've only got one objective but I've got my battle tactic so it gives me three points um, so yeah we'll have to see what see what Adam does Welcome to the Empty Throne, turn one. What an empty throne it was. There was so much that could have gone right. And then apparently, it just, just ghosts don't die. But I digress, we'll move on to that. It started with hijinks. So uh, we began the turn, we thought, quick measure out, we're 30 inches away with our Sorcerer Lord away from Nagash and his many ghostly friends, so we thought we too will go for magical dominance. I tried for a primal dice, I didn't get one. Ben tried for a primal dice, he didn't get one. So neither of us were getting primal dice to share between us. Um, so I had one left over, so I thought the magical dominance is still the best ploy to still go with. I also then thought I had a phone call from Ed Sheeran. So I looked into the eye of Sheeran and um, and we rolled to see the, the special once per game ability to see if Archeon knew whether I was going first or second next. So as you can see in the VT, I rolled and I get a six. So I knew that I was going next. So I thought, that's it. Saddle up boys, charge! And charge we did. We went scampering across the field. Uh, we got a mystic shield um, to get the battle tactic put on um, Big Archie himself. He flopped over to here just to tag this objective. The Corn Knights, a bit out of play, but they went barreling up to here and grabbed this objective. And then here, we moved up both units of Varangard and we thought we'll just go in and sweep the ghosts away. Can't hurt what you can't touch, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of duck dive, dodging and swearing. And um, turns out, apparently, with an unrendable save of a four up, if you just roll fours, and then there's a cruciator behind saying any damage is reduced by one, all my damage to weaponry. Uh, and don't forget Nagash's five up bubble ward save. And the five up bubble ward save. Yes, the five up bubble ward save. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, we, we've got that. So we've got, uh, we got the reduced the, reduced the, we reduced the wounds. We've got a five up bubble. We've got a four up um, ignore um, rend anyway. But it's okay. I've got the option on Varangard once per game to fight twice. So I thought it went, so, I mean, it went so badly the sure, first time. Sure, you didn't time. pop it on turn one, Adam. <laughs> the voices, the voices. Both of them. The, voice, the voices. But there's only three died. It's not fair. Only three. Of the little silly ghosts died. That is true. The, the second round of fighting was much better. It was much better. If the first round had been like that, it probably wouldn't be any there. It didn't even, I even even managed to put you know inspiring presence on this unit but it's all right with only three left they, some of them might run away and the one time that ben rolled a one it was then yeah it was then it was then oh thank goodness that we know that it's my turn next yeah um even the charge i should have known from the charge even when we went in for the charge it was only a three inch charge and a four inch charge yeah they and were we very, just clipped in very hesitant very they, they obviously even they, maybe they've been speaking to Ed Sheeran and looked ahead and seen what was happening. Oh, so although the results on the field and the death isn't happening that we wanted, um, yeah, I did get my five points because I have scored one, scored two, scored more, and I achieved my battle tactic. And apparently, I'm going to have another go, but. If he keeps rolling fours, I'm going to be here all night. You're in for a good one. Oh.
Slaves to Darkness, turn two. We're going to forget all about turn one. We know we have turn two, so this will go better, yeah? No. Unbelievably not. Oh, so frustrating. Who gives someone a four up save with a five up shrug and then minus one damage? I mean, who? Who? Anyway. Me. Me. me, me anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, we had a bit of a discussion with ourselves and our many heads on Arkham's Beast. And we decided, although we really, really don't feel it's in the spirit, that we went for bait and trap. Yes. <gasps> I know. I know. No. Two units that are even calm, I know, are going to retreat, not charge, but their friends are going to charge to make up for it, right, yeah? Because the charge went so well last time. Huh. Um, right, so as you can see the board, we went to cast Mystic Shield. Nagash said, nope, no. Uh -uh. So Archie said, I'll tell you what. I'm going to use the one primal dice that Ben gave us both, and I'm going to put that straight into the uh, arcane bolt. And, you know, Nagash kind of had a toy with it, and he, he let Archie have it. So Archie had arcane bolt. Um, we then swiftly went into the movement phase. Oh, sorry, I went for a command point on Archie, got that. Yeah, um, I, I you went got for one on the Cruciator as Cruciator, well. Cruciator, yeah, that annoying little thing <laughs> yeah there mr cruciator and uh then we decided here comes the horrible moment so we retreated the small unit of vanguard back here we retreated the large unit of vanguard back here the knights the kind of tootled up do did, did a run because we can run a charge not that we can do anything else uh and we did we charged into the what left of the units that the vanguard did such great work on and archie he flew up and said, well, Ben went for a redeploy. And he went, you know what? I'm going to screen off Nagash. And you're going to have to deal with these revenants. So I went, okay. Yeah, I'll clear them out. Not a problem. So, as you can see, there are still lots of ghosts on the board. Really annoying. Essentially, we went in. And as I alluded to earlier, the four up save. Followed by a five up shrug from the bubble of being near Nagash. And a Cruciator being wholly within 12 of his units, reducing all damage down to 1, really makes for a poor, poor Chaos turn. But we are not bitter. We are vengeful. Um, we did our best here. We removed... How many we got there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. We removed 7 here. We've got this unit of 20 down to 4. We've got these annoying little critters down to two still because we just they just won't die mm. and we can't get into the meat of the sandwich um but we score one we score two we score more we got our battle tactic grudgingly does take us to 10 place three this is going to be ben's turn two and let's hope that he doesn't get turn three Now, we might be good at rolling fours for saves, but these these guys are quite tough themselves, actually, you know. <laughs> um, so, we decided to go for the battle tactic went into the Maelstrom, charge a hero and a battle line, and they've got to be within three at the end. We rolled primal dice. Adam got one, I didn't, so I had three going into this round. Adam had one, because he spent his in his turn. And then... Spell-wise, we did a lot with Nagash. We used all eight, all eight spells. You did. Um, we did Mystic Shield. Uh, we did Seal of Shayish for the 5 at world save, but I think Adam stopped that one. Yep. We tried for an Arcane Bolt. Adam also stopped that one. Mm -hmm. Good job he did as well. Yep. Um, <laughs> we tried a bunch of other stuff. Some of it didn't go off. Uh, I don't think anything else relevant went off. Uh, mm. not really, no. No. 
Things the, that you cast on Archaeon, I failed the four ups to ignore. Yeah, oh, I, I did the, the make him fight last. Soul yep. Cage. Soul, Soul Cage, Cage on, on Archaeon. That's it, yeah, failed so, four up. Yeah. Yep. He was fighting last. We did the Invocation in the Gash, so everyone within 24 of his summonable unit. Whoop. Add three wounds back to it, or Yay. put three models back. <laughs> That'll take me another four turns to get rid of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was quite good. We needed that. We had to be quite careful. Because we done what it in the maelstrom, so we had to charge hero under battle line. So over here was the unit of knights that were in combat with these guys. So these guys retreated, because we can retreat and charge in Night Haunt. They went here to try and block Archeon off. Um, so that meant Nagash moved up. These guys came round, so Archeon was kinda pinned, which is what I wanted. On his birthday, at his finest hour. Yeah. Um we then shot with this guy, pew pew, into here. I think we did... A couple of wounds into there, didn't you? Yeah, I think we managed to mm -hmm. kill one because there was one injured guy, so we mm -hmm. got rid of him. The Guardian of Souls moved up. This guy moved round because the 12 inch bubbles. These guys are now just out though because when I moved these guys back, I didn't redeployed the knights, so this was a 6 inch charge here. Now going into charges, these boy guys came down the temple, charging Tarkon, did a bunch of mortal wounds. They did. Really, really spiked on there. Uh, Nagash charged in. Um, these guys made their charge, making them fight last on the charge. We gave Archeon minus one to his save. And these guys charged as well, and they did the same into there. Um, and then fighting, because both of Adam's units were fighting last, mm. so... <laughs> we just we just went for it. We started with Nagash. He slapped Arkin a little bit. He did. Uh, we went. Hard. We went here because I was quite confident I was going to kill him with the rest of the blade guys. Uh, so we went here, uh, killed a couple, and then I started panicking that I wasn't going to get my battle tactic. Uh, but luckily, these guys, gentlemen as they are, decided <laughs> to bring pillars instead of knives. So there's still two guys there, and then these blade guys hit, and wow, they hit it. But fortunately, it turns out I know how to save as well. Yeah. How many wounds does he have left, but though? He hasn't got many left now. He's taken 23. So two wounds remaining. He's we, we bleeding. Were, we were very, very close. Very, very close. And because I killed just enough here, mm -hmm. I hold this objective. You do. But I don't hold two. No. So I hold one. I got my battle tactic, giving me another three. It is only turn two, and I feel like we've played three games. Wait, I don't <laughs> feel like it's been a slog. Yeah. It does. So, Bit of a we'll priority go for a right. dice roll. Here we go. Walk on TV! On. Oh, it's 2-2. Two, two. Oh. And you went first. And I did. And Archie says he wants to go again. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, did we need that? Archeon is bleeding. He just doesn't know where he is. He's, he's phoned Ed Sheeran. Everything. He doesn't know what's going on anymore. Um, but they just keep saving everything. Um, grasping at straws, looking at battle tactics. So we looked across the board and we thought, we're, we're going to have, say, Intimidate now. Let's, let's go Intimidate. That's the battle tactic. We, I rolled for Primal Dice. I didn't get us one. Ben rolled for Primal Dice, he didn't get us one. And my wizard was standing there with Blizzard, so wanting to cast it, couldn't get it. But we did get a Mystic Shield on Archeon. Could that be the reason why he's still here? Yes, it is. Because he has taken now 24 wounds. He is dripping in blood, but the corn side of him is loving it. Uh, we thought possibly, possibly we could tickle Nagash and make him fall over. Turns out, when it's your when it's your birthday, your finest hour, when you've got Mystic Shield, when you've called all out defence, 
you're on positive three to your save and Ren 2 just really doesn't cut it. Um, nope. We did nick, nick a few off him. Yeah, he's, he's done eight before and he's on taken 11 now, so he chipped a couple more Chipped a couple, but he's just going to regrow himself. So, But we're hoping to pin him there. We did finally kill a unit. Good news, people. Finally, finally, it's taken essentially goodness knows how many rounds of combat. Eventually, though, the Revenants, the Block of 20, are gone. Uh, we have claimed this one back. Uh, we somehow survived the barrage of the Revenants here, but that Mystic Shield was key, taking one more further damage, and that was it. Archeon turned his attention to the Varangard here, who nobly came around trying to save the day, but they just couldn't punch us through, even on the charge. It's just been tough. We've been punching against concrete and can't get through. I think, um, did Nagash kill one Varangard? He did as well. He dropped yeah. another Varangard on the way in. One is badly wounded, taken four there. It's all desperate plays, but like I say, we did get the Intimidate. We did score one. We did score two, so therefore scored more. Gives us the 15. It feels like we've been in the ring with Mike Tyson for weeks. Um, but now we get to see Ben's turn three. Ah, is this the end of Archaon? We went for the battle tactic Mayhem. You have to kill something with a spell. Now, with Nagash being Nagash, I was fairly confident because Archeon only had one wound. Even though he has the four up ignore spells and his ward save and stuff, but I was fairly confident. My magic so far has been phenomenal. Everything's worked. This turn, for some reason, mm, not a lot happened. <laughs> Adam stopped all the big ones, but one that went through was Arcane Bolt and Soul Stealer. So, Soul Stealer, cast it on a 12, added my Primal Dice to make it a 15, plus Nagash's bonus, I was laughing. So it's D6 because I cast it above a 9. Adam goes, far up, completely ignores it. What? Okay. Next, <laughs> next bit. I, I was sweating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> next bit. Arcane Bolt, rolls it, far up. No! Ah. Oh. So, didn't get my battle tactic. Annoyingly... But we still had the whole entire rest of the phase, the movement, everything. So we retreat the boy Geist out. Um, didn't retreat Nagash because I didn't want the Varangard redeploying away from me if I was redeploying away from Archeon, etc, etc. So we retreated the boy guys, charged them back in, killed Archeon on mortal wounds on from impact. the impact hits. Yep. Which meant I was miles away from these guys, so I piled in three, could only get one guy in. He hit, didn't do anything. Nagash was here. And the Varangard finally. Yeah. Finally, he, by one wound. Yeah, finally took him down. I <sighs> decided to roll not a lot for my saves, considering <laughs> it was only threes, but yeah. And finally. We, uh, yeah, we were all we rolled. God for a god. God for <laughs> um, a god. Other than that, Nothing else happened. These two just shimmied up behind because we don't want them getting into combat. We had a little bit of handbagging here. Yeah, just tip for tap. Tip for tap, didn't do anything. Um, so, as I've already said, I didn't get the battle tactic. I clearly don't hold that objective, so I'm not scoring any points this turn. We are hoping for a double to try and clean up the board. Says Archaon's followers. Wugo TV! On. Oh, oh, there's the six. Oh, yeah, there's the there's one. There's the one. That's describing how this is going to go, I think, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go in. Well, followers, turn yeah. four. Turn four. Archaon's dying breath, dying wish, 
that we should take the turn. And the turn we did. Now, with him gone, unfortunately, we were a bit clueless about what battle tactics to make. And we had a look through and we went, nah, forget battle tactics, charge! So that's what we did. We threw caution to the wind and we thought, now there's not this big scary Nagash, then we'll just go in and try and hopefully mop up. Well, mm, sort of. Let's take a look. Um, we tried to roll some primal dice. Me and Ben both decided that it's not for us anymore. And basically, I just herded in and I wanted to obliterate the, the last unit here. And finally, with their god gone, it seems that uh, saving is now not their thing anymore. And it turns out we know how to hit now that we're inspired with the death of Archaeon. And uh, we lifted up the unit and threw it to the four winds. Um, we also got rid of that very, very, very annoying uh, excruciator. He's gone. The Guardian of Souls has left uh, a, a couple of wounds on him. But the unit that took the charge in turn one, our yeah, turn one, the screen. with the screen, <laughs> has now multiplied to the point where this is their objective now. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so in that rather quick turn, um, we still score one, score two, score more. For those of you who care about shooting, the squall has gone. Maybe that's yeah. why it was. Maybe that's why I can <laughs> finally see the ghosts to, to hit them and kill them. Yeah, um, we're, we're hiding in the mist. There was no battle tactic. We didn't get that. So we simply got the three. Yeah. Um, we think that's, that's enough. And I, I am oh. calling Mercy. Mercy is called? Begging you for birdseed. Do we allow it? Bird do we seed. Birds, bed, yeah. Yeah, all right then. All right, we'll, then. we'll cut to conclusion. <laughs> right, okay. Conclusion time, folks. Well, God versus God, what, an, what, a, what a match. Yeah. It, it, a match of the ages. It's, it's been really, really fun. Yeah. Because... I was expecting when you charged at me in your turn one. You knew that I had me, the double. From my but, yeah. experience of <laughs> being hit by Varangard, I was like, oh, oh he's, well. he's, gonna, he's about to table me. I've, I've only had one turn. Yeah. And then it was. Apparently, if you roll four ups by five ups and yeah. lower the damage by one, oh, who the, knew? The that's the actually a thing. I forgot how durable my oh, heart were. If you roll, if you roll fours, that's it. It doesn't yeah. matter what the other other person does. Yeah. You you know, unless you've got mortal wounds to get through them, it's just like, and no, yeah. and no. I mean, and that's all Vanguard are about: hitting hard, hitting fast, yeah. double tap them in, clear the screens, charge through. I just couldn't get through the screen. It yeah. just, I just got stuck. Right, you, you attacked twice in your first turn. And and the and those damn chain rasps are still here. Yeah. You know, I, it just ah. It's just off the analysis, but <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Turns out that the, the squishy bit was Nagash. Yeah. He yeah. um. Oh. He had so many chat. He, he, he really could have swung. It could have really swung. I mean, Very swing. you. At the key moment, there was the the failure to cast hand to dust. Yeah. There was a, a key moment when, all right, Archie did die, but he died at the right moment, not to a spell. Yeah. He, you know, he just saw it coming. He blazed it out. Yeah. He, you know, he did more than he should have done. Um, and yeah, just just tickled tickled you over just at, at the end. And once yeah. he fell, there wasn't because my really... my game plan always was a unit of blade ghast. Boy, yes. <laughs> Running with Nagash. Yeah. So I'd have Nagash, they'd hit with the mortal wounds, Nagash would go blah 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 blah. And Which then, was working. Yeah, it yeah. was just when I couldn't get rid of Archeon with a spell. Yeah. And then I killed him with the mortal wounds. It just left me too open because if I'd have got all 15, 16 of them blade guys that I'd oh. brought back. Oh, yeah. Into that last unit of five, it could have been into the Varen Guard. Yeah, yeah, that would have been totally have, different could have been story. A different, totally yeah. different story. I mean, admittedly, they have got the four up against mortals, but yeah. even still, that that would have been a completely different story. Yeah. And I mean, the story was just Archie knowing the priorities, knowing that from one into two was going to be his, and yeah. then holding on to the priority into three. That was crucial. Yeah, because if you then switch the double back, that could mm. have been massive. I mean. Squall who? I mean, who cared about the squall? It seemed like yeah. once the squall finally killed, went, yeah. that's when the, all the night haunt just went... Ghost blah, 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 and then ghost mist, it was. It was a horrible yeah. ghost mist that we couldn't see sun, through. It was sunrise. It was, and they just went... Poof, 
like Gandalf cracking the rock. <laughs> yeah. And then they just... Yeah. Like, ah! <laughs> and just, we shall not... Yeah, and it, and it all went... Um, yeah, I mean, do you have a, a unit of the match, model of the match? Um, I'd probably go Nagash. Okay, yeah, he was he, good. Yeah, even though he was a bit swingy in combat and he didn't do what I wanted him to when I needed him to, the bubble of the five at wards and bringing the three units back and we didn't get to but, see it, but potentially he could have brought a whole unit back on the three up. Yeah, half the size. Yeah, half the size. Yeah, yeah that's you why you bring them reinforced. Yeah, reinforced. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, so you're going to give it to him. You're going to give give him man of the match. Yeah. God of the match. Yeah, the boy guys were good as they are, but I thought the little chain rasp was still here. <laughs> yeah, but it's only because it's only because of Nikash. I rolled that's, fours and fives. So yeah. That's if it, I hadn't, yeah. If I hadn't been for the fives, yeah. Tell you what that cruciator did my head in. That yeah. minus one damage, that, that's yeah. massive. So all my weaponry, you know, two damage a hit, on yeah. the, you know, definitely on the charges with the knights, and you're just like, no, that's one damage. Yeah. And now I've got five up shrug. That's and no, I'm like, pe really? People are probably wondering why I stayed as a castle and just got pincered in <laughs> where, <laughs> where I was. But it's because of the minus one damage, the five up ward save buddle. Puddle. 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 Puddles. Puddle. Puddle. Yeah, that's I have a water safe puddle. Um, <laughs> and then the Guardian of Souls has to push one to wound aura yeah. as well. So it, it's a tough little castle. And it can punch out. Uh, yeah, and, I, I you just know, got stuck you just got a little st guard. Yeah, well, and uh, you know, if at one point you'd have got a double, that would have helped you punch yeah. out even faster. So, yeah. you know, it's it's not all doom and gloom type thing. So yeah. it was... No, it, it was it, definitely fun. It was what really, really good for your me. MVP? MVP, I... I suppose I've got to give it to Archie. Yeah. I mean, I've got to give it to. I mean, you know, he um, he saw it coming. He knew what was coming. Yeah. Denied that battle tactic twice on the four ups to deny. Said no, no, you're not going to kill me with magic. Yeah. That's not how I'm going today. And, and you know the, that the big head, for the, um, the the big head with the, the big monstrous action. Yeah, being able to. I mean, oh, he didn't spike man. it all the time, but you know, into those blade gas, he was doing the with the Nurgle attacks, rolling yeah. the seven dice, any threes or a mortal wound. It was the only way I was causing any pain to them at all. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's the time when you did the most, especially on that like when you got the double. Yeah. Because you knew about it. Yeah. yeah when, when you did that, it was just like, oh man, it's just. Deleting me. Just, I can't yeah. roll fives. I'm like, like, oh no, that's this. it. It's going. There. It's like going, and yeah, and he, he just helped hold, if nothing else. He he yeah, helped. He held. Very good anchor. And then the rest just popped. I did think you know I might struggle with so few units, but no, it was good fun. And and it and like you say, if it hadn't been the fact of the the minus one damage and the basically ignoring rend, then other things that I could have hit into with that wave of of Varengard and Wave of oh, Knights and yeah. him, you, you would really be picking them up and lifting them in a, yeah, in a big like, fashion. I feel like if I was playing Feck, everything would have died. Sylvaneth would have died. Trogs? Uh, not so much, because you can yeah. keep coming back, not so much. But yeah. it was it was definite, you know, that and that run and charge, it's, it, you know, when oh. you can auto, do an auto one for six, yeah. get, you know, that 16 inch movement, then, you know, you've got the yeah, charge. Yeah, you're literally it's, over here and I'm there. And you're like, hello! <laughs> and you're like, oh! <laughs> it's like, oh dear God. Uh, so, that's why I had a puddle. <laughs> that's it. But uh, yeah, I, I hope I did Max Proud. I hope, you know, the stand in the I'm, pretend I'm sure, Archie sure you is, is, you know, is, yeah. is done in Proud. It's a beautiful so. model. <laughs> it is lovely. For the practice one. For the, for the practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sorry, he died, but you know it was, it was in. It was in. You I'm know. not. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that as much as we've enjoyed it. And uh, and if you did, by all means, go back and watch some of our other episodes. Or you know, as Ben always says, like, subscribe, ding the bell, hit the bell, ding hit ding the ding bell ding. for because we'll be doing more of these. And by all means, you know, comment. Let us know what you want to see, which armies you want to play, um, which scenarios want us to do. We'll do them all. Just just comment away. We'll love to hear from you. Or check out the website and uh, see what tournaments we've got going on. Um, see what's coming up on the channel. Uh, join in with the, the patron even. But you know, it's a fun. And um, but until next time, bye. bye.